Good morning, my followers and friends. My name is Edward Was from the Tutor in Edwards Academy. This morning we are going to start a new series in our class. We are going to be looking at modeling the variances. We are going to look at financial time series econometrics, which has to do with the volatility. We are going to introduce the act modeling system. And we are going to have too many variants of the act system explained. We're also going to have them in models and in series. So in vertically, this class may actually take up to uh, 10 or 9 sections or 9 videos. I want to appeal to you in advance to please still tune to my videos and let's see how we can look at it together. So in this first video, I will look at the theoretical underpinning and the components of or the variance of the I system. Why in my next video, I will proceed with a simulation of the ash system, the testing for the presence of the ash uh, uh, system and um, uh, estimation of an ash uh, a PQ model and host of others. So basically, the word ash is an acronym for autoregressive conditional heteroskedasticity and is a statistical model used to analyze uh, uh, financial time series uh, assets with the intent to forecast the future volatility of financial investment and the ash modeling system is used to estimate risk by providing a model of volatility for financial investments the ash model was put in place or was popularized by the work of engel in 1982 and uh, the essence of the ash system is to actually ensure that uh, Financial investors are giving the appropriate advice that, is, that has to do with the volatility of the financial system and the leverages they are expected to, to get while varying their investment. Thus, the model allows the data to determine the, the best weight to use in forecasting the variance. The ASH model are used or is used by financial institutions to model assets risk over different financial holdings and there are many uh, components or variants of the arch uh, modeling system recall that financial system or financial investments are volatile and they are free and since financial scientists always fluctuate and returns on investment could also be fluctuating in recent history good investors evaluate the risk associated with their capital even when they actually uh, do not know how the variance of their investment will come at the end of the day like for instance if you intend to invest uh, in a system and it's actually known that before you decide to invest in a system you may have actually known what you will get at the end of the day but good financial investors are not only interested in what they will get at the end of the day they're interested in how the returns will come the daily information the daily returns or the hourly returns how would that be glitch? Would that be a problem at the end or within the system? So the variance of the of the system is actually what financial investors are interested in most cases, not the actual returns on investment. Because the actual return on investment in many cases is in a short. But the variance or the problem that will occur within the system is not actually known. So the ARCH modeling system enables us to actually model the variance of financial time series as Excel macroeconomic variables to enable investors actually know the investment they will leverage on and the investment they will actually avoid based on the information that will be getting from it. The ash system will have too many components, too many variants of it. The ash and the gas system are the linear models, while the T gas, the E gas, the non gas, the P gas, the I gas, there are too many other components of gas that are non linear models. We're also going to look at them one after the other. So basically, the ash system was put in place by Engel in 1982, like I said previously, while the gas system is a modification of the of the arch uh, system and was put in place by Boleslav in 1986. Then the Nagash system is also known as the nonlinear asymmetric gash and uh, that ensures that non-negativity and stationarity of the variance process is being ensured. We also have the I-gash system. The I-gash system, the integrated generalized autoregressive conditional heteroskedasticity and its restricted version 
of the normal guide system and uh, it is a modification of the generalized auto regressive conditional heteroskedasticity then we also have the e guide system the e guide system is known as the, expon uh, the exponentially generalized auto regressive conditional heteroskedasticity and that was introduced by Nelson and in 1981 we also have the gash in system the gash in system the gash in mean system and the model uh, as uh, um, the model adds a heteroskedasis term into the main equation it has to be specified in our next video i'm going to specify each and every component and variance of the uh, the hash system we have the q gash system which we call the quadratic uh, the quadratic gash model that was put in place by santana in 1995 and is used to model asymmetric effect of positive and negative shocks in any financial investment they will also have we have the g the 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 g j r o gas glossing the ganatin john core uh, gas system which actually was actually put in place in 1993 also a, a variant of the ash system that is used to test the asymmetry in the gas process we also have the the f gas the f gas is called the family gas and it's an ambiguous model that nested a variety of other uh, popularly asymmetric and uh, symmetric uh, gash model including the apache the gtr the av grash and the nagash so uh, the f gash is the family name for other uh, asymmetric gash models we have the t gash t gash is also known as the threshold uh, gash uh, it was put in place by Sakoyan in 1994 and is similar to G, the uh, GJ Arrow Gash and the specification uh, is, is one that is that we can also uh, present in our next uh, video. So we also have the the P Gash. The P Gash is called the Partial Gash. The Partial Gash was put in place by Otto Snyd and got off in 2018 i think that is the most recent version of the gas system which is the partial gas it is considered as the special equivalent to the temporary generalized auto reversive conditional heteroskedasticity so the issue in p gas is most of the time used by geographers to actually predict uh, most of uh, their informations and actually make focus so basically in this video we are only going to look at this uh, components of gas in my next video i'll present the equations of uh, all these variants of gas and explain to you how the gas system works but before i will conclude this class i actually want to inform you that the arch system in the arch system we have two equations we have the mean equation we have the variance equation in our next class we'll start from the mean and the variance equations of the i system and actually present the specifications of other variants of the i system thank you and please stay tuned to my channel for inter more interesting uh, development in this series god bless you